If you can't kill a boss, no reason why you can't look like one. Moogle putting the wow in transmogs. Most definitely intended for blood decays here. Shoulders of vile determination. We're looking at Black Temple time walking. So Thanator. Just call him Thor. Kind of a fair drop rate for the shoulders. Really cool looking shoulders out of Legion. The chest is going to spin us to Burning Crusade, Arcanine Crypts, the end of the Exarch. It is a quest reward. You probably already have it if you've leveled through there. Uh, the belt is Flame Licked Girdle, the Burning Throne. Shattuck is the boss. About an 18% drop rate for the belt. Moving on, we're sticking with Lady Draenei and showing the legs, which are Dark Soul Leggings, Vanilla Level Blacksmithing. Check your local blacksmith or your local auction house. I'm not sure if you can still get the pattern, but if you find a blacksmith who still has it, you're in, you're in like Flint. Uh, Iron Bellows Sabatons, Black Rock Foundry Mythic, Operator Thogar, kind of a fair drop rate for the feet, doing the spin, showing the cloak, which we've shown a million times already. Weeping Gauntlets, Forge of Soul, Bronze Jam, he jams to some cool 70s tunes as he basically loses to you in a fight. 10% on the drop rate. Lady Blood Elf, looking pretty sexy with the Gilded Thorian Cloak. Karazam, Burning Crusade, Terrestrian Olhoof, 17% on the drop rate. The Headpiece V, Reinforced Headgun, Legion Level Engineering. Check your local engineer or your local auction house for those red gargles. And the weapon, Blackrock Foundry Mythic. Decent drop rate. From Blood to Frost, this is a traditional Frost look. It's a mix of different uh, tier sets from different X-Packs. Hellfire Citadel, Demon Gaze Pauldrons, 10% on the drop rate for those really cool looking shoulders. Now the chest is going to spin us to Old War 25 man, Hodir, or Hodar, I prefer to say. Conqueror's Dark Ruined Battle Plate, 8% on the drop rate, straight out of Old War. The belt is from Hellfire Citadel, Corrupted Talon Priest, 5% on the drop rate for the Girdle of Demonic Wrath. Next up, we are going to hook you up with the legs, which are part of the same set as the chest, Ulduar 25 Man, Freya, Freya, Conqueror's Dark Rune Leg Plates, 5% eh, drop rate, Ulduar's always fun to do, a lot of great x monk stuff there. The feet are the Stompers of Brazen Terror, Hellfire Citadel, Kill Rock Deadeye, 14% on the drop rate. So you, you kind of see the mix between Wrath and Legion here on this particular set. The hands are Wrathful Gladiators, Dreadplate Gauntlets, Wrath of the Lich King PvP Vendor, located in Dalaran, two marks of honor for the gloves. Next up is the cloak, which I do believe is going to be next. Actually, the head is next, Conqueror's Dark Rune Helm Plate. So the head, the chest, and the legs are all out of Ulduar. The back is Shawl of Nerubian Silk. Uh, Ice Crown Citadel 10-man Lord Maragar, 16% drop rate. The weapon, Blazing Demon Hilt Sword. Hellfire Citadel, heroic. I did a very similar set to this before, but I think this brings forth a few improvements, uh, particularly the chest and the legs and the weapon and the headpiece, so let's get to it. The shoulders, of course, Nighthold Mythic. The chest, got a lot of stuff from Old War for DKs here. Unbreakable chest guard. You can see the boss, 16% on the drop rate for that chest piece. The belt, which really works with all this, uh, of course, it's part of the same tier set as the shoulders as well as the boots. But it works with those two pieces from Ulduar, which are the chest and the legs, which we're going to get to next here. The legs are the Saranite plated Lagards, Ulduar Kolagarn, Kalgon Baths. That's what we'll call that boss, Kalgon Baths. Kind of a fair drop rate on that. The feet, we talked about this, Sabatons of Unchanging Fate. The Nighthold Mythic, Star Augur. Atreus, 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 I think that's what it is, Atreus. Uh, the wrist, keep in mind this is a wrist, the Burning Throne, LFR, Varimathras, 5% on the drop rate for the Bracers. And now we're going to show you a Lady Blood Elf with back, which is the Silver Thread Cloak, no Moran, various mobs there, or the Auction House. You could also go with any other traditional blue and gray DK cloak, or of course the Gilded Thorian Cloak, the head. Engineering, wide level, 
get those blue goggles. And the weapon, Crypt Maker, that's a two-handed mace, Ice Crown Citadel, 25 man. So we kind of showed you a definite blood DK and a definite frost DK, and this is a definite unholy DK. Uh, Pauldrons of Violent Eruption, Siege of Ogamar, LFR, Siegecraft, or Black Fuse, you're looking at a decent drop rate. The chest, stamped Felsteel Breastplate, Hellfire Citadel Mythic, that's the recolor that from Warriors, uh, Iron Reaver, 14% on the drop rate. Next up, we're going to show you the belt, Ashen Wool Girdle, Siege of Ogramar, LFR. Earthbreaker Harem, 15% on the drop rate for the belt. Now we're going to the legs, which are part of the same tier set as the chest, Hellfire Citadel Mythic, Blast Hoof Lagards, Siege Master Mardek, 5% on the drop rate for the legs. Now we have a dude or a human DK, Greaves of the Iron Army, Ulduar, Mimiron, 5% on the drop rate. Going with a wrist here, uh, Worm Skull Bracers, the Nexic. Nexus, uh, various mobs are buying on the auction house. Kind of a very understated but classic look there. Uh, the back is your typical five mana pearl cloak from Nazjatar. The tabard, lower city, all major cities, gonna need gold and rep to pick up that tabard from BC. And the headpiece, got a lot of these engineering pieces. This one is engineering only, but there are lookalikes, so check wow head for that. And the weapon is Relentless Gladiator's Greatsword. Gotta buy the whole weapon package for that. This really works well for Unholy, so another check mark for Unholy, or it could even work for Frost DKs. I don't think it works for Blood DKs. We have one more for Blood DK after this one. Uh, as you can see, the shoulders, Hellfire Citadel, Heroic. The chest is gonna bring you to Dragon Soul, LFR, the unsleeping guy. He's got a lot of crazy stuff going on because he can't sleep. Necrotic bone plate, breastplate. Uh, you're looking at the belt, which is Petrified Husk Girdle. Cathedral of Eternal Night. Agronix is the boss. 5% on the drop rate for the belt. Moving on to the legs, which are part of the same tier set as the chest. Necrotic bone plate greaves. Dragon Soul LFR from the same dude he can't sleep. So while he... Maybe, maybe you catch him sleeping. You never know. And then he could just take take the greaves. Uh, the Stompers of Brazen Terror, Hellfire Citadel Heroic, Killrog Deadeye. I keep thinking, you know, that uh, Warlock eyeball thing when I see Killrog Deadeye. Not sure. Maybe because it's got a Killrog on it. Anyway, Demon Gaze Gauntlets, Hellfire Citadel Heroic, Soulbound Construct for the hands. And now we're going to move on to a Lady Orc in the back, Dark Leather Cloak. Vanilla, level, leatherworking, or your local auction house for the purple cloak. You could use any purple cloak, by the way, or even something with a green and a gray. Wild Gladiator's Dreadplate Helm. If you hoard, you gotta be a warmonger to get that helm. And the weapon is the Ruthless Gladiator's Decapitator, making an appearance. Stormwind Ogremar, five marks of honor. The shoulders are gonna take you to a place called Throne of Thunder. Tordos, he's a big turtle. 24% uh, on the drop rate for the shoulder guards of centripetal destruction. Sounds like a warlock shoulder piece. Anyway, the chest, super easy to get. Dark crest breastplate, the blood furnace, various mobs there if you want to farm it, or I suggest you buy it on the auction house. Uh, there's also a look like, so you can check Wowhead for that. The belt, prideful gladiators, clasp of meditation. If you hoard, you're going to have to go grievous to pick up the belt. The legs are part of the same drop set from, I think it's Burning Crusade, as the chest, Dark Crest Lagards, Hellfire Peninsula, Zakral is the dude you can take it from or buy it on the auction house. There's also a lookalike set, so check wow head. Tidal Force Treads, Throne of Thunder, Swen, 5% on the drop rate, part of the same set as the shoulders, and I do believe the helm. Oh no, the helm is not from that set actually. Going with a wrist here, Netherstorm, Thunderlord, Provisioner, has a 90% drop rate to give you those uh, bracers. So that's from Netherstorm, easy to pick up there. Moving on to the back, which is the Fell Prune Shroud, works extraordinarily well with this set. Cathedral of Eternal Light, Agronox is the boss. The head, Jaw of Repudiation, is a Valor Quartermaster piece. You buy it for gold, Stormwind Ogremar. 
And the weapon, which works perfectly with his set, straight out of the underbog, the Black Stalker drops it. 5% is the drop rate. My name is Luxley. I want to thank everybody for dropping by. I leave you with this final thought. Whatever it is by you, whether it's morning or it's afternoon or night, make it epic.